What's up guys? I'm sick. What's going on YouTube? Thank you for clicking back onto another video. You might be able to hear it in my voice, but I am sick unfortunately. Uh, so the nature of today's video is what to do when you're sick as a college kid or what kind of process that might take. Uh, and basically, this is literally what I did today when I woke up. I've been see feeling sick for a couple days, got a little bit better. Woke up today, I was just not feeling it. I had class at 8.30, so that's definitely going to pertain to a lot of freshmen. I, I'm a senior, but I, I do have an 8.30 class. It's one of my major classes. Um, but basically, I woke up. I just was not feeling good. I've been having a lot of sinus problems. And so, blowing my nose has been like nonstop, unfortunately. Uh, but basically, the first thing that I do is look at my phone. I see what basically that I missed from the last, uh, from overnight. And usually, like I, there's not much or there's a couple of notifications from Instagram. So I emailed my professors. I was like, look, I'm going to be out sick today. Um, if you want to send me anything that I missed in class, that would be much appreciated because then I'll catch up on it before the next class. And typically, like I have one teacher. Uh, for my 8.30 class, he won't really respond, that's okay, because he just knows that I'm going to probably look up the slides online. Uh, then I had another teacher that was just like, also look up the slides, uh, but at least, you know, they, they gave me a response back. Um, and then I did go to my third class today, I only had three classes today, um, but basically this is what he would want to do to be both professional as well as, um, I guess, respectful, but you don't want to just like skip class. I sent two emails both to different professors. They said, I had one said, teacher that said, uh, thanks for letting me know, please review the materials on Blackboard, Blackboard's our online site. Uh, maybe you use it too. I know I used it in high school as well, so that was convenient. Um, and then the other teacher did not respond, but I basically was just like, hello professor, unfortunately I'm out sick. Um, unfortunately this is already so soon in the semester, but I will finish up the chapter notes uh, before next class. I hope not to be sick by then. Fingers crossed. Thank you for your understanding. Um, basically, I mean, that's the most, that's like the minimum that you should do, uh, just because that way it looks like you're really, well, some people might use this if they're not really sick, but in this case, I am really sick, so kind of, um, it just kind of uh, validates that, because with my school, I don't know if your school is like this, but there is no such thing as doctor's notes, unless you're like, in the hospital like under surgery for like a week or like you need surgery or you're like deathly ill like you could go to the on-campus uh, health center and they will not they're not allowed to give you a note to say you can be excused from class a lot of teachers don't like this rule so they'll like if you just email them they won't even count like they'll give you a uh, an excused absence um, just so it doesn't count against you that's really the big purpose for why I email them um, we only get like three absences for the whole semester that are unexcused. So I like to not have, like for those days that, you know, everyone skips once in a while. It's not good to do, but if you don't want to use those kinds of skips, then if you email your professor, it just basically ensures that you're actually sick and they usually count it, especially if they know you and they trust you. So anyway, guys, I wanted to take you on my morning this morning, even though today's like midday now. Um, I just kind of want to make a video. I thought maybe that this might pertain to a lot of you who might be watching this. Let me take you with me on my journey to the bathroom and just kind of look at myself in the mirror, see if <laughs> my nose is more red than it was the previous night. Um, in this case, it's actually not looking too bad right now. However, uh, you can probably see in my face that I'm extremely pale. Now, granted, there are lights right here, but I'm much more pale than I usually am, and I already normally am very pale as, as is. So lately, I don't have a kettle, but lately I've been boiling water uh, to make tea just for these last few days, just kind of to help with, you know, my throat is kind of sore too from like just coughing and so yeah, so basically I make tea in the morning, uh, at least I have been the last few days, which has really helped me. Uh, the tea that I've been drinking, in case you want a good tea recommendation, it's, a, it's called Hot Cinnamon Sunset. Um, it's actually pretty good, I don't know if you've ever had it, but I'd highly recommend it. I believe, well, I don't actually even pick this up for myself. It's usually something that my mom sends me with like a little care package sometimes I'll come back with. Uh, I do believe it's from Wegmans, so they have pretty fine stuff there if you know what Wegmans is, but highly recommend if you don't. Thankfully right now my apartment's actually very warm, 
which does help me. Um, it's a little bit of a dry heat, so that's kind of annoying for coughing because it's not helping in that sense, but drinking a lot of liquids is super important, especially when you're sick. But right now, we're just gonna cut into when my tea is ready. All right, guys, so once the water heats up a little bit, maybe not quite to boiling, um, you just pour it. Obviously, you know how to make tea, but I just dropped a lot of water on the floor in my foot, and it's really hot, so that's fun. Um, anyway, once you make, once I make tea, I'll typically also have, I have to have more than just one liquid, so I can't like just have tea. Have a glass of uh, vitamin C. No! Bruh. I mean, this is kind of part of the reason why I'm sick, so obviously I'm not thinking quite straight. This has vitamin C, but this is a glass of orange juice, and this is the tea that I just made. So drinking a lot of liquids is super helpful um, when you're sick, so I definitely recommend doing that. I hate being sick, guys. This sucks. I cannot think straight. Okay, so we're moving to me eating food. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, we're moving to me eating lunch. However, um, just some quick tips. If you live on campus and you don't have all the kitchen stuff, um, you should have like something in the lobby, which I know is gonna be a lot harder because you actually have to like get up and like be a person outside amongst other people. Um, but if you do it, if you get like tea or if you get something, it'll definitely be worth it. I know it is definitely a lot harder though because you can't have all the same stuff in the apartment that you can't, or in the dorm that you could um, in an apartment, so. That's my only tip, I guess, is like if you're in a dorm, just do it anyway. It's gonna be beneficial for you in the long run. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog really quick because it wasn't really anything major. Um, this is a really quick one just because I'm waiting to get better. Once I get better, there's gonna be a lot more videos coming. So I'm excited about that. Um, if you enjoyed or learned anything about this from this video at all, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Help me out there. Um, and then also turn on post notifications. That way you get a notification every time I post. And also, if you wanna go ahead and like the video, let's go ahead for 20 likes again. Um, we did get a lot more on the last video than my previous video, so thank you for those people that did that. We're out.